Good day and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. In today's uh, ongoing special coverage of the fighting uh, taking place inside of the uh, former state of uh, Ethiopia, we continue to get uh, significant uh, intel uh, coming in uh, from the conflict zone. Uh, before I kind of delve into new information that we are receiving, um, the uh, the the primary reason uh, for this coverage on this conflict, obviously, uh, the channel, uh, Military and Foreign Affairs Network, and uh, uh, within the confines of this conflict right now, uh, the civil war uh, that is taking place inside of the former state of Ethiopia is the largest uh, conventional war taking place uh, on the planet right now. Most people are not even aware uh, that... Uh, uh, of the size and the scope of this conflict uh, in regards to other conflicts that are taking place around the globe and in, in, in terms of uh, sheer personnel involved and uh, the size and the scope of, of the conflict again it is the largest conflict right now taking place uh, on the planet earth uh, just uh, an important side note there uh, so the information that we continue to receive is there has been a significant, significant defeat of the uh, federal AB loyalists uh, just north of Odessa. Uh, we are hearing now that uh, the Tigrayan Defense Forces uh, are just uh, probably within a mile uh, of the city of Odessa. Um, it, is, it is possible that infiltration units have already started to enter at certain points of the uh, within the environments of the city, uh, a very large uh, element of the uh, the federal Ethiopian military, the Ethiopian National Defense Forces, uh, were engaged and defeated uh, within the vicinity and just south of uh, Kutaber. Uh, that uh, battle has concluded itself, and we are seeing uh, significant amounts of uh, Ethiopian National Defense Forces uh, prisoners being uh, ha that have in indeed been taken prisoner of, of war. Uh, but right now, the chatter that we are receiving is that uh, we could be seeing the, the utter collapse of the Ethiopian uh, defensive positions uh, that are positioned just north of the city of Dese that are designed to prevent further advance of the Tigrayan defense forces. Uh, it would it would seem right now the uh, forces of the uh, federal AB forces are, are again are in utter collapse. They are disjointed and uh, they are not responding uh, to uh, the uh, the operations directorate from Addis Ababa in terms of taking and receiving orders. There is also a a, a tremendous amount of uh, infighting that is occurring and is still occurring as we speak uh, between the federal forces and the Amhara regional militias inside of the city of Dese proper. So again, you, you have uh, an issue where you are seeing the outer defenses of Dese uh, under uh, serious pressure and at least the forces that are just north of Wallow University and near Wallow University are collapsing uh, as the Tigrayan Defense Forces continues its rapid advance uh, with a possible uh, assault directly on Wallow University, which is uh, being utilized as a uh, staging ground for both Amhara militia units uh, and the uh, the Ethiopian federal forces. Uh, but again, uh, very, very fast moving uh, piece of uh, news right now in terms of the ongoing conflict. Uh, we are continuing to monitor uh, the situation in other areas as well. We, we understand that the TDF is continuing to advance towards Kambasha from the uh, B-11 highway and north of the B-11 highway, uh, moving in a south uh, westerly direction towards Kambalcha. Uh, the forces of the Tigrayan Defense Forces continue to move uh, within the vicinity of Hike and engage forces of both the Amhara militias and the Ethiopian Federal Forces uh, within the vicinity of Hike and south of Hike. But right now, 
it would appear that the uh, the forces, uh, the federal forces, the Amhara forces, located within the vicinity north of Wallow University, uh, these defenses uh, have been breached, and uh, a rapid advance of the uh, Tigrayan defense forces uh, could be uh, currently underway. And what I'm doing right now is just kind of moving in where you can see the terrain. I will go up towards uh, Kutaber. Uh, and we'll do a 360 degree turn and we will be looking south. Um, I'll modify the map where you can actually uh, see what the terrain looks like uh, as the Tigrayan Defense Forces were to advance down this uh, Kutaber Valley here. Uh, you can see major terrain features uh, that would be defending the, uh, the direct outskirts of uh, Wallow University and uh, as you move past uh, these major terrain features that, in, in all likelihood, uh, these are the defenses that, that may have been, in fact, breached and taken, controlled over by the uh, Tigrayan Defense Forces. And again, as you, as we, as we move in towards um, the, uh, the area of Desse, uh, you can see, again, uh, the, the terrain features. Again, we're moving south. Uh, from Kutaber, and again, um, we're now probably within a mile uh, as a bird flies in, in terms of the location on the map to uh, actual uh, the outskirts of Desse. Now we're moving into the suburbs of Desse, and now we are here uh, at uh, Wallow University, where in fact we believe there there could be an assault underway by the Tigrayan Defense Forces. Uh, possibly coming from both the north uh, and uh, this direction here, uh, which would be uh, west of Wallow University. And again, this, these areas are, are very indicative of the terrain that the Tigrayan Defense Forces favors in its operational tempo and activity. And uh, again, we're just going to zoom in and you can see the built-up area of Wallow University. And again, much of this area now uh, has been uh, transformed from a learning institution to an actual uh, garrison base and uh, training base for conscripts being recruited for both Amhara regional militias and uh, the uh, federal forces as a staging ground for further operations. But again, at one point this area was seen as a staging ground for a major offensive uh, upon the Tigray region to uh, de design to move uh, north and seize Weldea, and obviously that plan has fallen apart rather quickly, and uh, we are now looking at the possibility of a, def the, a breach of the uh, city defenses of Desse, and uh, quite possibly the actual attack or seizure of Desse by the Tigrayan Defense Forces. Uh, we will continue to monitor the situation and, of course, uh, report the ongoing events. Again, a very, very fluid uh, situation right now. Uh, we've received intel also that the Ethiopian Federal uh, Air Force uh, could be deploying uh, uh, multi-role uh, uh, fighter jets uh, with cluster munitions, uh, possibly uh, to uh, drop ordinances near Wallow University. But again, we will continue to monitor the situation uh, and report it. Again, very, very fast-moving, fluid situation. Um, and again, uh, uh, in all appearances, uh, the, uh, the ENDF, the Ethiopian National Defense Forces, uh, have taken significant, significant losses uh, just north of Wallow University, and significant amounts of prisoners of war has also been taken, as uh, as these defenses have been breached, and uh, and 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 what appears to be a collapse, an initial collapse of the forces defending the city. Uh, we'll have more later as the situation develops. Have a good day, everybody.